If you're an e-commerce business, you're going to want to pay attention to this section because we're going to take a look at a tool called Shoptimized. Now, Shoptimized is a really powerful e-commerce tool. They have a bunch of different things within their system, but the one part of their system that's really powerful is a tool called Incremental Sales. Now, Incremental Sales has one objective and one objective only, and that is to make sure Google gives your entire feed a fair shot at visibility. So what do I mean by that? Well, on average, if you take a look at your feed, on average, 54% of products get no clicks and a further 34% get no conversions, meaning only very few products within your shopping feed on Google Ads are doing any of the heavy lifting and generating sales for your business with loads of items in your feed getting no visibility. Why is that? Well, there's something called algorithm bias. Google essentially decides very early on whether or not a product is going to work for your campaign objectives. Now, this is even more specific with smart campaigns where you don't have any control over the bids. On a normal shopping campaign, you can override this to some degree, but most people now on Google Shopping are running smart shopping campaigns, meaning Google have full control over your bids to go towards your goal, whether that's a target ROAS or whether that's a revenue goal. Either way, Google will adjust your bids to try and meet that goal. And on the process of doing that, some of your items are not going to get any visibility. So it seems unfair because some of these items, as you know, haven't had a chance to convert, no visibility. So what Shoptimize does is it resurfaces those items. It gives them more chance at visibility, more chance at traffic, and more chance to convert. So their incremental sales tool, what that does is it resurfaces those products that haven't had a chance to get any clicks. It pulls in your Google Ads feed and setup is very simple. It's just a case of creating an account and pulling your feed in by logging into your Google Ads account via their system and connecting the two together. Once they get your hold of your feed, they can understand the performance, they can see which items have not had visibility, and they build their own separate Google Ads campaign within your account. And when it's in your account, what they do is they block every single product in your main core campaign that's getting visibility, and then they only focus on the products that aren't getting visibility. And once they do that, they run a bunch of tests and push your campaign out through different CSS networks, which stands for Comparison Shopping Services, because on Google Ads, when you do a search for a shopping result, you'll notice some of the ads aren't just from Google. There are a bunch, over a hundred different places you can sell your products online via the Google Ads network that isn't specifically Google meaning you get more visibility, more opportunities to show on your ads. And that is exactly why they plug into these networks to give your ads more opportunity. They make tweaks and tests and optimizations to give those products visibility. And when they start generating sales, they would have been sales you wouldn't have got in your main campaign because those products that are getting the visibility that Shoptimize is giving you were biased by the algorithm. So it's a win-win. It's a great way to scale your ads because one of the challenges with scaling a Google Ads campaign is you might get more sales, but you end up paying more for those sales. So you don't want to be in that position where you're paying more for your sales. The only way to get more opportunity is to expand the number of products that are getting visibility and Shoptimized does exactly that. And the best part is, the good news is that as soon as a product starts converting in your main campaign, you don't have to rely on the incremental campaign to get results. They will stop running ads with that particular product. So they don't do any cannibalization. Your products that are performing will work in your main campaign. They focus on the stuff that's not working and not converting and not getting any clicks. So there's no issues with cannibalization. So key question, I can already hear you asking, Darren, this is a great service, but how much is it going to cost me? Well, luckily, the fees are very straightforward. The incremental sales campaign, they run parallel to your main campaign. All of the revenue that generates, your fee for them is 10% of that revenue. Meaning if their incremental sales campaign that's resurfacing items that don't get visibility, if that campaign generates £1,000, their fee is £100. Now, that sounds good, but it's actually better than that because like any e-commerce business, you're going to have to pay taxes. Like any business, you're going to pay taxes. They know that. Like any business, especially, of course, e-commerce, you're going to get returns. People are going to send things back. Not everybody who buys something 
will keep it and be a happy customer. Some people might get damaged goods in transit. Some people might not even just like what they've bought. You will get a percentage of returns. So they factor these two figures in. In the UK, there's something called VAT or value added tax. That is 20%. So they take off that 20% from their fee and they also account for 7% from the returns you could potentially get. So instead of paying 10% on your total revenue, from that 10% revenue, they minus off 27% of that final figure. So you're paying a lot less than you normally would if you just went with a flat 10%. So the fees and structure are very simple, meaning that when your ads scale, then the fee goes up. You don't pay more for results you don't get. So it's very balanced, a very fair way of doing things and they always work towards outperforming your current campaign. So they don't deem success getting some results and your main campaign performs better in terms of a return on advertising spend. Their metrics for performance are that they should be outperforming your main campaign because they have access to so much more. They can put you out on more CSS networks and they can get more results and more visibility, meaning that they should be doing better. And in my opinion, because I obviously work with these guys and I've been using their software, it has been working. So this isn't a review where it's kind of a paid link in the description or anything like that. It's not a um, affiliate link or anything like that. I work with this tool, I use it, and I'm happy to endorse it because it does wonders for the businesses I work with. So that is why I'm endorsing this tool at four and a half stars out of five. Now, <laughs> I very seldom give five star reviews. You gotta absolutely blow me away with, for a five star review. This tool has basically done that, but I always think there's room for improvement with a lot of these systems. They're quite a new business and I think they'll continue to grow, add more to their repertoire and get even better and better. But for me, in my opinion, I think this tool is worth trialing. If you wanna trial it, head over to Shoptimize's website. I've linked it in the description below. Again, not an affiliate link, so feel free to go through there and I give them a chance. I think it will work wonders for your e-commerce campaigns and let me know in the description sorry let me know in the comments if you are going to trial this tool i'd be love to hear from you let me know what results you get from it when you start running campaigns as well thank you so much for watching that video if you liked it please leave a like down below and of course this video came from a clip from the main SEM Academy weekly show. So be sure to check that out by subscribing to the channel so you don't miss a single episode or update from the world of paid advertising.